These mystery boxes have figurines that blow their own balloons, and yes, we can even get a unicorn. Introducing Bubby Loons! I, I can't say the name proper. Bubby Loons is a collectible figurine that has over 12 different characters that we can collect from. And this one really caught my attention because I haven't seen a mystery box that has both characters and making their own kind of balloons. See, I'm not sure if they're making their own balloons or if they're making their own bubbles. It's a little confusing for me. I have to say, this is just a little confusing. And each one of these does cost almost $11. Now we do have eight, which is about $88. I pay $30 for shipping. All of this is in US. So Kitty Etida, let's see your cute little calculator. Put your glasses on, you cute with your glasses on. Let's go ahead and calculate $88 plus 30 and convert that to Canadian. It's approximately $160. So they're not cheap for us Canadians. But I have to say, they have close to 2,000 ratings. Look at that. 2,000 ratings at 4.1 stars. That's a pretty dosh gone darn good rating, if I say so myself. And when we look at the posting, the character is absolutely adorable. And then it says that the whole thing is about 3.9 inches, so 10 centimeters tall. And on top it says, make bubbles. Now I don't know if it's making bubbles and they're the kind of bubbles that you have on a nice summer day or, or if it's kind of like the sticky bubbles that you get when you're making kind of fidget toys. And it even has a page showing you how to unbox. So obviously we have to remove the little strip, we take the bottom cup off, Oh, we reveal them through beads. Okay, it makes sense now. When you look at the top of the box, we can see a bunch of beads on here. So I'm guessing we're going to have to drain the beads out, which is going to be a whole mess in itself. And then we can reveal the character and then they have multiple surprises. Hang on, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. See, the reason I'm not sure if it's making bubbles or if it's making little balls is because there's kind of like little balloons here. I don't think it's bubbles. I think it's balloons. Next scene, it's showing that we're actually making tiny little balloons. But the character is actually blowing the air, so that's exciting. What? And then we're decorating with the little beads? That's gonna be one heck of a mess. <laughs> Stay tuned for a cleanup. Yay. So there are about 13 different characters to collect. We have everything from a zebra, bear, doggy, sheep, tiger, kitty cat, panda, dino, lemur, strawberry. Just get it? Strawberry. An elephant, pig, and a unicorn. Clearly, I do want the unicorn. Let me know in the comment section below which animal or which character do you hope we're going to get today, and did we get it by the end of the video? And if you're new here, and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do, otherwise I will slash you. Actually, I'm just joking, this is not real. It is a sharp pointy thing, it's not real though. Click on all notifications while you're there. There is a series two that I did pick up, so stay tuned for that. Make sure that you do like the video and share it because sharing it shows that you do want to watch more of my videos in this YouTube universe. My coloring book is still up for grabs. Did you say unicorns? Did you say dragons? Did anyone say evil burb? <laughs> And so, introducing the Creatures of Darkness coloring book set. In this set, you will be getting a folder of 22 illustrations printed on cardstock, and the illustrations are done in a Disney villain type fashion that were inspired by my own sculptures. 16 gorgeous, vibrant colors of watercolor, especially made for beginners. And these colors were selected specifically for this kit. 12 colored pencils that are super pigmented and buttery smooth on paper. And yes, this kit also gets your own washi tape. I absolutely love the way it looks and how it stretches and just has a rainbow-esque look to it with a dark background and water brushes to make your water coloring more convenient. All these for only $39.99, or if you want to get the digital copy, for $22.99. However, if you want both, it's at $49.99, and you get a $75 value for this price. And here are some examples of pages that Ugrains have colored. Thank you for submitting them. If you're interested in picking up your own, I will link it down below. And again, thank you so much for all the love and just excitement around this project. Now, I don't know if there's a particular difference between the ones that have a pink or the ones that have a purple top, but we're gonna find out if they're doubles. I hope not. Amazon, I hope you gave me the different ones. Please, and don't break my heart. I can't take it. My heart is so fragile. I just can't take any more disappointment when you make me cry and cry and cry. All right, so let's go ahead and put everything away and start unboxing the first one. Just hang on, give me a second. I did notice though, 
Now this one here kind of popped open in transit, so we're not going to open it first, we're going to leave it for last. I kind of don't want to see what's on the inside because I want the experience to be as pure as possible. Just the pureness. I want it to be like a vanilla. Vanilla bean. I love vanilla bean. So according to the Amazon thing, it said to open from here first. We're going to get there. Oh, all right, let's see this unzipping experience. why these things don't go all the way come on you could you, what the shrimp come on it's supposed to be simple why why really I'm trying to get the zip it's right there look at it come closer it's right there why I think at this point we're just gonna we're just gonna open it like this okay here we go okay it's not making any sound just whatever it is here. What is that? What are you? Okay, this is an instruction sheet. It's black and white. So basically, we turn the knob, reveal the character, open it, it's gonna, oh wait. Don't open it, it's gonna make a mess. <laughs> I never followed instructions, okay? Apparently, you're supposed to turn the knob and let it drain. Do not open the top because it'll make a mess. See, there's an X there. I noticed that one a little too late. And then you're supposed to shake it like it owes you money. Just shadows of the finger here. So where's my money? Just shake it. My money. Give it back. And then we can open it, and then the surprises are on the inside. Okay. I really hope we do get the unicorn. All right, where's the knob? Do I open you? Okay. I'm a little scared because I don't want all those bubble things to make a mess. What is this for? It's a hat. Tell me I'm pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn the knob and see what happens. It is so noisy outside. And so it was garbage day. All right, now that the garbage has done its thing, let's turn the knob. Okay. Hello? Did they... Is this it? Oh, I gotta shake it like it owed me the money. It owed me the money. Where are my money? Where are my money? Where are my money? Uh, is this what I gotta do? Okay. Well, that is very disappointing to say. Is that the unicorn? Is that the unicorn? I don't know if that's the unicorn, but let's let's keep shaking it. That is definitely not how it's supposed to be. This is really terrible product design, by the way. It was supposed to go down like, like that. Actually, you know what? There is an ad on the Amazon page, so let's see what it's actually about. Okay, we have the baloon, bubbaloons, people on the balloons. Okay, I want to see the unboxing experience. Look at that! It just. It just it just went right away all the way down. Oh, I think this is false advertisement. Let's pause here. Let's look at that again Look at that. I think this is false advertisement at its best because there's no way that this went down Oh, no, we're starting to get a mess already. Uh oh Okay, the beads are falling a little bit of everywhere and I do not want a mess. So let's put my trusty felt over here Cuz it's just not going down Come on you know what the issue is? Static. These beads are so light and that they're just kind of sticking on to the outer edge of the plastic. Oh gosh. Okay. Do I just, oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're all at the bottom. Okay, so the beads don't actually have their own compartment. They're just sticking onto the figurine. So let's pull out the surprises. Oh my goodness. This is dangerous. Do not open this anywhere near your pet. And for those of you who are picking it up for your little ones or for your niece, nephew, nephew, for your grandkids, just make sure that there's no loose beads around for the other little ones, just in case. All right, so we do have two surprises over here, which are supposed to be the accessories, and these are the balloons. Okay. Oh my God. What a mess. Okay, so here are our balloons, and this is, I'm guessing, is the character guide, and this is our character. Do I need to pull you out? Yes, I do. Oh my god! Oh my god! These are cute though. These beads are pretty, but holy shrimp. Holy shrimp and guacamole. And here's the character. I have to say the character is really, really cute. I'm guessing this is the zebra. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? Let's replay that again. I'm free! Oh, there's still more. Oh my god. Come on. You can burp him up. Okay, so this is basically how we're going to be making the balloons. That's not gonna 
work is it? I don't know. I'm starting to regret all the money I spent on this. And just so you know, hang on, let me bring you on my desk just so you can see how much mess it is. So here's the bit that fell on the inside. This is good, okay. Here it is on my felt. And then we have all of these that are on my desk. And then there's quite a bit on my floor too. This is really tiny. They really need a better mechanism to control this mess. All right, so I'm just gonna close. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna close this. Yeah, this did not work. Why did this not work? Like this and like that. You know what? We'll find out with the other ones if it, this one was a faulty one or if all of them are gonna be like that. All right, so let's check out the surprises that this character comes with. So it's supposed to have an accessory and then I think something where the balloon is supposed to go into. So let's see what this one is. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 a rocket ship. Okay, I think, hang on, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at the character guide. All right, so here we have the bubble stick. Here we have the bubbles and then two individual accessories. So this is how we're going to make our balloons, which we're going to try. And then the accessories basically just look like a rocket ship, a cupcake, a globe, or is that a balloon? That's a hot air balloon. And an ice cream, so a little bit of everything. And then you can decorate your balloon by dunking it in the tiny beads, which we're gonna try anyways. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about this. So it looks like the one we got is Xena the Zebra. And that's it, so we did get the rocket ship. Maybe it's like, I don't know what this is for. Is this a docking station? Maybe? I don't know, this toy is all sorts of confusing. All right, in here, all right, so, ooh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we get so many different ones. Okay, so these are to make the balloons, I guess. Cute. Probably because you can't remove the balloons from the ones, or can you? I think you can. So it looks like we can blow the balloons, put the beads, and then shove them on here, or we can keep them on the stick. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Because over here shows that there's a little nub, like a little black elastic maybe, that's holding it together. I don't know. We're gonna find out together right now. So let's take the balloons out. Voila, here it is. Wait, okay, these are the ones, since there's no hole. This one has a hole, no hole. This one has a hole. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to see here. So these are actual wands. Okay, so I'm guessing like, you know what? Let's check the instructions. This is so complicated. Okay, so pointy end into the balloon, like I saw, and then non-pointy end into the mouth. I got this. I, I know how to do this. <laughs> All right, pointy end into the balloon, uh, if it wants to. Hello? Do I have your, there you go. I, was, I totally asked for consent and it said yes. And then this goes into the mouth, like this. Okay, and then, wah! Okay, <laughs> interesting. Now I do have a fear of balloons popping. So I, you know I will not be pushing this too hard. But you know what, let's bring our felt so you grains can see it. There, that's enough. Is it getting smaller? No, it's good. That's enough for me. I am content. Look at this, cute. And it looks like it has its own little rubber band that keeps it from actually popping. It's not as sticky as I thought it would be. So I don't know how the beads are going to stick. There you go. See, it just fell right off after a few seconds. Let's try that again. Yeah, it does not stay. All right, so let's open, oh goodness. Let's open this and I think we're gonna have to put the beads in here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, what a mess. Okay. I'm not crazy about this bead mechanism. Okay, let's do the doing. So here it is. This is not fun. This is not fun. This is not fun. So here are the beads on top of the balloon. Now the question is, do they easily come off? Yeah. I'm barely touching the balloon. Look at that. And they're all just falling little bits. This is not safe. Definitely not safe. Yeah, no. I, I just, I don't think so. You know what would make this product even better? Is if they actually put the beads on the inside of the balloon so you have a little bit of a fidget toy on the inside and a little bit of a sensory toy, but that is not the case. The beads on the outside are just lazy, lazy. Whoever made this product, y'all need to work on actual user experience. And some of you, you say, but Jackie, little ones don't critique as much. Listen, I was a salty child, okay? I was very critical of a lot of things. I haven't changed much. Let's go ahead and make another balloon. So we're gonna do one, two, they do say three. That's too much for me. That's too much. All right, let's pull you right out. 
Okay, good. And technically it's supposed to go like this. There. It's really cute, but they gave us all yellow. So it's going to be interesting to see whether or not we actually get different colors for different characters, or if they're all just lazy yellow balloons. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. But yeah, that's... That's what you're... That's what you're getting. And if you don't want to put it on the spaceship, you can take one of the magic wands and scarily put it inside. I am so scared right now. Y'all have no idea how much, how much, oh gosh. I am so scared. How much this is take? I can't do this. I am so scared right now. I do not want this to pop. I am so scared. Listen, okay, look, I'm gonna pretend here. Or you could put it on your magic wand and go around poking things until it pops if you have no fear like me. There, that's as good as it gets. I'm a coward. Help. Now that we know what we're in for, we can open these a little bit more efficiently and focus more on the character rather than everything else. Wait, what happened to all the beads? I just, hang on, there's this, this. Where are the beads? This one has beads. This one has beads. But these, these beads look like they already drained. What? And then the last one here is, this one's completely open. So two of them are very surpriseful. That's not a word, but it is a word now. Surpriseful. Very nice. I didn't even pay attention. Hang on. This one here is a purple top and the previous one was a pink top. Kitty editor, keep an eye on that, okay? I'll see you. All right, so even their safeguard did not seem to work on their other products because the beads definitely went down. Okay, so let's pull you out and let's see if this mechanism is actually going to work. Again, I'm not holding it this way. It is flat on my surface for those of you who want to critique me. I appreciate that, but we need to make sure that it works, okay? I'm turning it. Shake it like you owe me the money. Where's my money? Nope. Hello? Wait. Did we just get the same character? Don't tell me they sent me all the same character, did they? I'm not, I'm trying not to look, but I also don't want to get all the same characters. Oh, I am starting to dislike this. Come on, just fall. They're different tops too. I think this is the same character. Oh my goodness! Yep, we have the same character again. And again, the same yellow balloons. Oh my god, what a mess! <sighs> For real though, who gave it such a high rating on Amazon? I feel like it's probably people who just gifted it to people and didn't even stay to see the actual results. We have yellow balloons again. And then the accessory, is it going to be the same thing? And the answer is yes, we're getting another spaceship. And the wands are probably gonna be the same thing. I'm curious if the wands are gonna be the same for the other characters. And here they are. Yep, they're the same. All right, let's, let's move on to the next one. I'm not even gonna clean up. I was like, I'm gonna clean up between every character, uh, but no. One of the things I did notice is that these bead colors are very different. So let me pull this up. So here we have purples, yellows, and red. Whereas the previous one, we had pinks, yellows, and teal. So they're different color beads at the front, but it doesn't mean that they're different characters, just to keep that in mind. Let's take the next one that also is completely hidden. So let's let's go ahead and do that. By the way, I don't know if there's a specific code. This one's 2319. This is, oh goodness. Hang on. Oh, that doesn't help. <laughs> this is 7230. I don't know if it makes a difference. 7231. 7238, unless it's this number, but I don't think so. I'm not sure. You grains tell me what you think it is. But let's see what we get. I really hope we didn't get all of the same. All right, let's open. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what the base is for. I guess it's to put your beads, but I mean, at this point, the beads are everywhere. It's like glitter, untamed glitter. Come on, mechanism. Let's shake it first. In case some of you say, Jack, you need to shake it first and then pull the lever. No. So we're going to shake it like it owed me the money. Here it is. And I'm going to turn the dial. False advertisement. This is false advertisement, 100%. This is not what that was. Here, again, on the screen. Yeah, it's not the same thing. Okay, we're going to shake it and hope that it falls. Please don't be the zebra again. Oh, it's not the zebra. Thank the gods. Okay. Let's open you. We have the puppy. Hello, puppy. You like a little kike. Come here. Come here. Oh, goodness. 
Yeah, there's a little rubber band in the back. Okay, I'm just gonna take out my scissors. All right, let's release you. Got you. There. Oh wow, what a mess. And here is our dog character. Is it cute? Yes. Is it worth the hassle? Mm-mm. Nope. Not one bit. But I love the design. I love the sculpt. Even the little confetti. Two different confettis on each ear. We have sprinkles on the belly. We have a little bit of that on the leg. Here's what the back looks like. And again, we can... Oh, do you have anything in your mouth? Yeah, we had one. Oh, there you go. Another one. There we go. Very cute. Again, I think these characters are absolutely adorable, but the way they're making it is not. Let's check our surprises. <gasps> Green balloons. Yes. Okay. And this doggy's name is Daisy. Daisy the Dow. So let's check our bigger accessory. And for this one, we have a teapot. What is flower? What? I love how they put so much effort on the characters and then these is just like, just one color, dude. Like, don't even worry about it. They won't even notice. Make the accessories as plain as possible. So we have a watering can and a flower. Did I miss something? No, I did not miss something. The watering can is not even part of the list. What am I supposed to do with it? Is it supposed to be a daisy? Cause it's a daisy dog, daisy flower. I don't know. <laughs> and over here, they also don't make their mystery bags easy to open. You have to kind of just rip through it like a savage. I know I'm savage, but sometimes I like the experience of unpacking things. And these are exactly the same for every character. So we don't need to unbox them for all the others since they're exactly the same. So we're gonna put the pointy end inside the balloon, like I saw, the non-pointy end in the doggy. And let's go ahead and blow the balloon. Hello? Uh-oh, she ain't blowing no air. Okay, here, nope, nope. Something's not good in the mechanism. Oh, that is hard. That is not gonna work. Here, there. Aha! Oh, her face. Okay, this is a lot of pressure. There you go. We have our green balloon. Again, not too sticky. And I'm not quite sure what I'm what I'm doing with this. It's not gonna stick. I don't I don't know. Does it stand? No. Do you stand? No. Mm-mm, mm-mm. The only thing cute about this is actually the figurine and a little bit of the balloon blowing thing, but other than that, not a fan. But let's keep going just in case we do actually get the unicorn or whatever character you wanted at the beginning. Even the unboxing experience is just not pleasant. Look at that. I'm opening it here and it just breaks right through. Come on, come on. No. I'm really close to saying this belongs in the trash, but I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have a turtle or the dragon. I don't know what it is, but I want it. <coughs> so since the beads already fell, there's no joy in getting that mechanism going. And just to let you know, we had eight and only three out of the eight kept the actual beads. It's not a good ratio. So here's our turtle. Let her out. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. What the heck? Are you a dragon? No, it's a turtle. So here we have a peppermint type of turtle. She does have dragon type vibes, so I will take it. And everything about here, she has a cutie mark and a little bit of that peppermint kind of stripe. Again, the peppermint in the back, cute little hair, cute little eyes. And I love the little pink dots on top. And the balloons are pink. Oh, oh. Oh no, these beads are everywhere. So we do have the pink balloons. Let's check what our accessories are because they're absolutely useless. I don't think the characters can interact with them. What the heck? What is, what is that? Is that a spaceship seat and a seashell? I, I don't, I don't know. I seriously don't know what this is. It's not like she can sit. I guess she can stand on it. No, no, it just, it doesn't work. I would love for someone to explain these to me because at this point, I don't understand. We already know the wands, just in case you're curious. 
here and they all are exactly the same. The only things that could be different are basically just the colors. They're exactly the same molds though. I feel like at this point, the beads are a decoration of my own desk. All right, pointy tip in here, voila. Non pointy tip goes here. Wait, what is your name? Before I put that thing in your mouth, what's your name? Hang on. <clears throat> Need to be respectful. To cut the turtle. I did notice that the colors on the turtle are very different than the ones that we get. So here you can see on the belly we get three different colors. Whereas here we only get two. So keep that in mind. The drawings do not represent the actual figurine. All right, Tuka, start blowing. Come on. Tuka. Tuka. Why? Why do they? Oh my goodness. Why are you having a hard time, Tuka? I'm not getting this. Hang on. Let's try that again. Okay, I do feel the air coming through. All right, let's push this back in. Why? Oh, there we go. Voila. Here's our pink balloon. Voila. And in all honesty, you can't really tell much of the difference. I mean, it is there, as you can see, pink, green, but it's not that drastic. I feel like this is deflating. Are they deflating? Oh. <gasps> Okay, okay, we need to check this out by the end of the video. I'm gonna put the green balloon over here and look at this, it's taking the entire thing. Let's see until the end of the video if it actually does deflate. That means that's no bueno, another point lost. Well, I wanted to unbox this as a surprise, but it looks like we can already see the character. So let's just go for it. And yeah, this seems to have been already turned. It's too late. And it looks like we have a tiger character. Okay, what is your, oh, why is this oily? Ew, look at that. You can see quite a bit of oil in the back. Why? Look, you can see it's shiny. Let's put a little arrow right over here. You can see this is oily. Oh my God. Doesn't smell like anything, luckily. But this is really cute. Again, I love the designs. It's a little tiger. Wait, we can put the, oh, I didn't notice that. Looks like they can actually hold the wand. So cute. Do you have, do you have anything in your mouth? No, you're good, but you do push a lot of air. What's your name? Your name is Otto. Otto the tiger. <laughs> like I thought they'd be like, Tuka the turtle, Zena the zebra, Tina the tiger? Maybe terrible inconsistencies. And there are little swirly cupcakes. I'm guessing this is just the whipped cream on the belly and the legs. They're kind of nonsensical, but whatever. Here's what the back looks like. And again, you can put the wand on the hand. But other than that, I still don't know what to do with the other accessories. Again, that could be me. And these ones are again pink. Are they different from the other pink? Yeah, actually. These are much darker pink. And let's see what kind of nonsensical item we're getting this time. Okay, I guess you could put three balloons on here for some reason. And a hat, oh, a wizard hat? You're a wizard Otto. I mean, at least this one interacts. You're a wizard Otto, little wizard. What do you about a Kadabra? And then let's take a quick look at the wands. Again, same exact things. And here we go, yep. Oh my, why is your face caving in? <laughs> All right, so we have our pink balloon, voila. Next. And again, this one did lose its little Whee! beads. You saw nothing. But thankfully, it definitely looks like we got another character. And I feel like this was, yeah, look at that. Their own mechanism is not safe. Definitely not safe. There. All right, it looks like we have another kind of dog. Per Wait, what? Why is this one taped? Hello? This is a mess. Okay, so we have another dog character right there. And yellow balloons, are they different from the first yellow? And the answer is no, they are not. So we're starting to see repeat colors here, especially if they do have 12 or 13 different characters, we're definitely going to be seeing repeat colors. This one's really cute. It kind of looks like a little rock star. Maybe it's a fox or it could be a cat, kitty cat. Kind of doesn't have a dessert theme though. And then this character's name is Stella. Stella the cat. But we do have Piggy the pig, Lenny the lemur, Yuka the sheep. Bury the bear. You see, it's not consistent and it bothers me. Oh, that is tiny accessories. What do you get, kitty cat? Uh, okay. What is that? What is that? I don't know, but we do get a crown. Does it fit? Look at that. No, it doesn't fit. Kind of, maybe. I don't know. There you go. You have a crown, my lady. <laughs> but I think that's like a perfume thing, like psh, 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 psh. 
I'm not sure. I have no clue. And we have our little wands again. Same thing over and over. I think at this point we already know that they're gonna blow balloons. But let's do it anyways. Alright, so here we go. A scene straight out of a bachelorette party. There we go. Very nice. <laughs> Why is this so funny? And the only way I could keep a surprise is by- No! No! I was about to say the only way I can keep this a surprise for myself is if I kept this facing the other way. But we're getting the same Dosh Garn Don Gengar! Three zebras? Why? I don't need three zebras! I'm not even gonna unbox this. Let's go to the next one. I don't want to look at it. This is the one that came already broken. Oh my gosh. We're just gonna get straight to the point here. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to get you chocolates. I don't want to meet your parents. We're just gonna get straight to the point. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's turn you around. And we get yeah. another Whoa. tiger. I spent about $160 for this. Hang on. This one? And it, they don't even stand? <gasps> you son of a biscuit. Oh my god. Okay, they don't stand. Here, please. Let's remove this so y'all don't yell at me. Get out of here. <laughs> it's chaos. Stand. They don't, they don't, they don't stand. Okay, here, 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 and here. I paid $160 essentially for about $5 worth of toys. Clearly disappointed. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is definitely going. In the trash! Jackie from the future here, I can confirm the balloon has not changed sizes after a few days. If you do want to watch more mystery box unboxings, actually a good one, make sure you click up here. If you want to watch something a little crafty, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grins in the next video.